This section is going to talk all about adding and subtracting polynomials. Now before we get to the adding and subtracting polynomials, let's go over what we already know about how to work with numbers. So if we were to see a problem that looked like this, where we have parentheses around the 2 plus 3, and then we also have parentheses around the 6 minus 5. Remember, order of operations always, always is in effect. So we could use order of operations to start working this, which means I would have to do the parentheses first. So doing the parentheses first, 2 plus 3 of course would be 5, and then 6 minus 5 would be 1. And then we would recopy everything else that we didn't use and continue on. Now we have 5 plus 5 minus 1. If you'll remember, according to order of operations, add and subtract, we just do them as we see them left to right. So 5 plus 5 would be 10, and then when we subtract 1, the answer would be 9. Now that's just if we're working with numbers and we just use order of operations. But let's look at this problem again. And this time when we look at it, let's use some different ideas. We're going to be doing the same thing. We're just going to be approaching it a little bit differently. Do you remember that we have properties um, of addition and multiplication also, but this time it's addition specifically, that says you can add in any order you want to? Remember that was the associative property and the commutative property of addition? Well, if I have 2 plus 3 and then add 5 to that, it really doesn't matter what order I do that in because of those properties. So I could literally rewrite this ignoring the parentheses. Just say that's 2 plus 3. And then over here, I would technically have to distribute out that negative. Remember that distribution property? So I could rewrite this as plus 5 and then minus 6 and negative times negative would be a positive 5. I could rewrite my problem just like this and then start in doing the addition and the subtraction left to right. That's a, a legitimate move. So then I would have to do 2 plus 3 first which would be 5, recopying everything else. 5 plus 5 would be 10, recopying everything else. 10 minus 6 would be 4, recopying everything else. And 4 plus 5 is 9. We got the exact same answer no matter which way we approached it. But keep in mind, you can't make up your own rules. You can only follow legitimate math rules that you've already learned. We're going to use this idea whenever we start working with polynomials, and that's going to be in the next video.